For years, people have been building survival kits out of Altoid tins. They're little mini survival kits. They're very small and they're a lot of fun. You can really pack quite a bit of gear in these little tins. But taking a small Zen nicotine pouch container, I mean, these are tiny and I've been looking at them for a while. Uh, I actually like Zen pouches and it's a good substitute because I really like to smoke cigars. And so this gives me just a different way to be able to enjoy it. But I've had these tins, they collect, and I thought how cool it would be to make a small survival kit out of a Zen container, especially if you're part of the Zen Nation. Okay guys, the Zen Nation. Uh, a lot of people have stopped smoking by using Zen. Uh, for me, I was used to smoke quite a few cigars. I just wanted to kind of take a break, and so I found these nicotine pouches. Actually, my son, who was vaping at the time, stopped and started using these and to give him that little bit of nicotine. Now, we're not sponsored by, by Zen or anything else, and this is not to promote this kind of product. Don't start. But uh, I, I had a ton of these. You know, after a while, they just collect, and they're just small little plastic containers. Pop open. They're very secure. Not a whole lot of space but just something that was in the back of my mind, I thought, let me make a little Zen container survival kit. Uh, one kind of interesting fact is Tucker Carlson uses the Zen pouches, and uh, he was seen right before an interview using these. So just a tidbit. So I decided to make a small little Zen kit. This is the kit complete. Uh, I have some electrical tape. It is yellow. We could have used black, but I just thought this will identify this as my little small Zen survival kit. Uh, obviously, Altoids have been used for a long time because these tins are just kind of cool and you can get a lot of stuff in here. You can get longer items in the Altoid tin. So this is going to be limited, maybe down to a little over half the size as far as space and it's circular. But I'm up for a challenge, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And that's why we have the Zen pouches. So we're going to open this up and we're going to go through the contents and see what we can get in this small little Zen container. Now the electrical tape, it can be used for a number of things. And I tried to kind of put a few levels of tape on here. It may take a little bit of time to pull that off. Uh, but obviously it's the thinner electrical tape. And so we're just going to pull it all off again. I mean, it's quite a bit. And this just seals the tin. Now after getting the tape off, I measured this at 42 inches of tape. So you can even put more on here if you want, but that's quite a bit of tape to be able to do some things if you need to do, secure something or repair something. Now the container itself, we'll open it up. We'll just pull some of the items out of here. You know, there's a lot of different things you can put in here. It was just a lot of the items that I just personally had. Uh, first off, I have a little striker, uh, and this is a magnesium little rod. I actually had to cut it to make it to fit, uh, but this is great for fire starting. I didn't have a, an actual striker that I was including in here, but you could even put a small saw blade in here if you wanted to snip it off. Uh, I always carry a knife, always, and so that would be my striker. And then we have a little bit of metal wire. We can use it for different repair tasks. I have some safety pins. In fact, I have three fairly large safety pins. Uh, here we have some monofilament line, and this is for the fishing kit. Then we have an Olight. Now this is one of their small little eye minis, and when you release it, it turns on, and it's magnetic, and you put it back and it turns off. But this is one of the smallest lights that I had, and I just thought this was a great option. Uh, I have a small little button compass. And we have two small zip ties. One thing about survival is you could need some repair items. And that's one of the reasons why there's a lot of that kind of stuff in here. Uh, here we have some sinkers and uh, just some fishing tackle to go with our monofilament line. Then I have one of the Swiss Tech multi-tools. This is probably the smallest multi-tool out there. Uh, and it gives me two different type screwdrivers with a flat head and with the uh, Phillips head and I have a pair of pliers. And while this is a very small pair of pliers, it's just a little small cool tool. And so obviously there's other things that you can put in here. I would have honestly rather had a Swiss Army knife, uh, but it wouldn't fit. It was my, the little smallest one won't quite fit in here. So everything had to be tailored to be able to go in this small tent. Uh, and then I have one of the tender tabs, and this is for fire starting. And this tender is important to have. And so that goes with my little striker. Uh, $20. Just stuck $20 in here because this is 
something. If you need cash, this gives you that extra 20. Uh, and that can go a long way, especially if ATMs are down. And then I have a Band-Aid. Now, I could have probably put a couple of Band-Aids in here, but always nice to have a Band-Aid. And that's my first aid, so we're hoping we don't get hurt much. Uh, and then I just have a piece of tin foil. There is a lot that you can do with tin foil. Uh, I mean, you can actually make a bowl out of this. You can use it for signaling. If you can use it as a reflector, uh, you can use it for cooking. You can put something on here or wrap it up and put it in a fire. But you can see, I mean, it's a pretty good size amount of tin foil. I mean, it's about 12 by 6, and it folds down really thin. Uh, again, a bowl, a plate, you can put things on here to protect it from the ground. I mean, this is probably one of the most useful items that I have in here. Also, I do have a sewing needle in here as well, and it fell out at the bottom, and I can use that with my monofilament line and be able to use it to repair things. Uh, and definitely a small needle like this, and I say small, that's actually a pretty large needle. Uh, you can use it for different things. And so we got all of these items in the tin. Uh, are there some areas that we didn't cover? Uh, one thing, though, that I would have added, and honestly I meant to add, is a small water purification tablet or a couple. And they would have gone in here just fine. And so that would have been a nice addition for this. Uh, if you have some additions that you think will fit in this small tin, uh, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, but obviously this thing was packed solid Taking the, ta the tape and putting it around the lid just allow this to really close up. The diameter is actually two and a quarter inches and it's just over a half inch deep. So it gives you a good idea of how much space you're running with. I mean, it's not a lot. But again, it's just a very easy container and if you have a lot of them, I mean, you can make multiple little kits out of these, give them out to family and friends, <laughs> and you could have some small survival kits. Again, the Altoid 10 is going to give you a little more capability uh, and it's just larger and it has a, it's just longer in this area. But again, it's just one of those things where you're improvising with what you have and it's really lightweight and it doesn't have that metal. Guys, just a fun project. Uh, definitely there are other options out there to make survival kits. And the more you have, the better your chances are. But if you want something really tiny to be able just to slip in your pocket or in a pack or in your car, I mean, this is a great little way to have some of those necessary items to get you out of a tough situation. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. It was funny because Tucker Carlson actually uses Zen, or he was found on, okay. It was funny because, just. I'm gonna measure it out. Three, 